The circle hook has an intriguing history. It's, it's uh, interesting to see where it's come, and it's, it's gone from one path being primarily a commercial fishery hook. It was developed first for the longline fishery because the hook design is such that one, it hooks the fish pretty well in the corner of the mouth or in the lips. And secondly, the fish once hooked cannot get off. And the fish hooks itself uh, essentially by grabbing the baited hook and, and running off with it. And that's the way a circle hook works. Well, any, any, time, any way you can reduce you know, physical trauma to a fish relative to um, releasing it and minimizing the kind of damage you do to a fish, tissue damage internally, externally, it's a good thing if you're going to let the fish go. And circle hooks are one of those tools that have been shown in a number of studies, now granted not all studies, but a number of studies, to minimize physical trauma. And that's really what the goal is. So if you've got circle hooks that end up primarily in the jaw of the fish, which is a bony structure that's not going to create a lot of long-term damage, then that's a great thing in terms of the survivorship of the animal.